Today, we are going to take a look at all 18 new Outbreak challenges in Cold War Zombies. I will try my best to be quick with explaining them and if there are locations, I will have them on your screen. So let's begin with the first one, shall we? For a cut above, you need to escort the rover with the monkey in very good condition. It can definitely take a few hits, but I don't know for sure where the limit is. But it's not hard to defend it in the first place, especially on the lower rounds. And the zombies always seem to attack the player first. So just take care of them and if you really need to, throw stun grenades or monkeys at them before they do damage to the rover. For desperate measures, you need to kill 10 or more zombies with score streaks during any objective. So just buy the death machine and kill them. Pretty easy. For efficient hunt, you need to kill HVT zombies in under 2 minutes. The best way to do this is to pack a punch your shotgun. Put for example the napalm ammo mod or dead wire on your weapon to take down manglers or megatons. If you get a mangler as your HVT, be sure to have Samtex grenades equipped. They do a lot of damage. Use them on the first two encounters and ring of fire and your shotgun on your third. Also make sure to have a car near you so you can get to the next location faster. And to be honest, after a while you will also kinda remember the spawn points of them and you can just drive to the next destination. If you get a Megaton, use that wire, the Panzer is weak to the new Shatter Blast ammo mod and Mimics and Tempests don't like Brain Rot. Ok, for the next one you just need to complete a lot of objectives. You get that by simply playing. For Get Off My Lawn, you need to get Barricade Defense kills during holdouts. Simply shoot through the window and kill them outside. And for the next one, you need to get kills with your alternate field upgrade while you are carrying ether canisters during the retrieve objective. It's also pretty easy to do, as you can see right here. Just activate it and the zombies will all die around you. For a bigger board, you need to earn an uncommon reward from a trial machine. Also basic stuff, just do trials. For catching air, you need to collect essence in the air after using one of the jump heads around the map. Also no big deal because the essence is easy to see and to collect. For dragons in space, you need to do the dragon portal side missions. Here is the symbol on your minimap. You need to activate the dragon and after that you have around 1 minute to kill zombies. The more zombies you kill, the more fuel you collect. You can see the fuel on the tanks right here. Fun fact, if you don't kill any zombies, you will not get any reward. But yeah, the kills count as soon as the zombies touch the purple flames. Once they glow, kill them and you earn fuel. For Miner, simply break Ethereum crystals and collect salvage. Basic stuff, it just takes a while because the loot is random. For Piñata effect, you need to find and shoot the glowing orb. There are a lot of locations and I will have them on your screen. Not sure if those are all of the locations, but that's where I found them so far. They don't appear on your minimap when you pause the game, but they do appear on a minimap compass on your screen on the top left corner. Once you find the orb, shoot it and collect the essence. It will move to two more locations, so don't lose it if you want to collect all of the essence. The challenge Treasured Weapons seems to be bugged right now. I've made progress a couple of days ago, but since then I'm stuck. You have to get kills with weapons from chests. Pretty simple and something that you should get by simply playing. But as of right now, it seems to be bugged. I tried all kinds of chests and it didn't work. For adventure, you need to kill Horde Patrols. Those are side mission enemies that spawn in after picking up the radio on the map. Here's the symbol. By the way, side missions are never guaranteed. They are random. If it's not there for you, simply go to the next map. Same thing with the dragon side mission. But once you pick up the radio, the symbol will spawn again and there you will find the horde. Kill them all and that's it. For full house, you need to kill a mimic, a megaton, a mangler, a tempest and a panzer in one map. Basic stuff. However, you need to be on a higher round for you to spawn all of them in your game at once. So be aware of that. For the next one, you need to earn the right to open golden chests. That's also a side mission. Here's the icon. Activate the chest, 
and kill all of the zombies that spawn, pretty simple. However, dragon fuel golden chest don't count for this one. Then you need to get long shot kills. That's also really easy to do, just use a sniper. And finally, restful spirit. For this challenge you have to kill a red ghost zombie before he spawns in more zombies. That's the most difficult one and probably the reason why you clicked on this video. First of all, here are some of the locations that have been discovered. Credit to ProHunter on Reddit. I will link his post down below. There are around 4 spawn locations per map. I think maybe there are even more. I personally never got more than one per round or map. So the red ghost only spawned once per round. But the thing is, sometimes you can actually see them from the distance. I don't know if you can always see them on all locations, but yeah. As you can see, those are some of the locations on all three maps. So what's the best way to take them out? Well, in my opinion, the Street Sweeper Shotgun. Pack a punch it and combine it with Ring of Fire and blast them. If you don't have the Street Sweeper unlocked, use the Gallo. The Hauer is way too slow for this. I don't recommend that. I also tried the Death Machine once and it was also not enough to kill him. If you get the Hush medal and no zombies spawn in, you did it correct. Oh, and for the very last challenge, Roadkill, you need to kill zombies while you are in a vehicle. By the way, you don't have to run them over, you can just simply shoot on your passenger seat and that way the car doesn't get damaged. I hope this was helpful, thanks for watching, please leave a like and subscribe, and until next time.